It's two o'clock in the morning and we're going to St. John. Well, we made it. I was going to take some more video with the trip here, but we ran into a travel issue and actually we're just lucky that we made it. There was a power outage in Minneapolis that caused our flight to be like an hour and 15 minutes late in departure. So we barely made it to Atlanta on time. We literally ran through the airport. But we did get on the St. Thomas flight and we made it here just as we planned. So so we just stayed here last night, had a few drinks, enjoyed the hot tub and the beautiful view. In a little bit, I'll give you a tour of the house that we're staying in. Friday, it's a beautiful morning here in St. John, and today we're going to spend the day at the famous Maho Bay. So I understand they have a, a good food truck, or maybe it's a restaurant, but uh, everybody says it's one of the best places to get food on the island. So that's what we're going to do for lunch today.
north side of the island at Trunk Bay. The sun is shining and it's raining like hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, it rains in the Virgin Islands. I uh, hope it's over soon. We've been here for a couple of days now and I am very impressed with the landscaping. I'm going to give you a little tour. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that is uh, indigenous to the area, but there's they've, they've put a ton of money into uh, other, other plants too. And wait until you see it lit up at night. They've got literally thousands of dollars of landscaping lights uh, around the whole property. We'll give you a tour of that too. We've been to our two favorite beaches, Trunk Beach and Maho Beach. And today we're going to try a new one that we haven't been to. I heard it's very nice. It's called Hawk's Nest and it's also on the north side of the island. Too bad but I mean the beach was pretty full and I just thought maybe that was just normal well here it is Monday and other than us there's a couple down at the end of the beach and the beach is pretty much empty I don't know if it's gonna be that way for the whole day but wow
So we have a couple of eight days of vacation left, and uh, we were going to go to the beach today and then decided not to. Instead, we're going to run into town and buy some t-shirts and, and, and have lunch and then just come back and, and enjoy the villa today. A couple of things that I wanted to give an update on. Uh, one is the beach from yesterday. We went to Eagle's Nest. I raved on about how empty the beach was. Well, it didn't turn out that way. By about 11 o'clock, people just came streaming in and the beach was uh, very busy. Not that that bothered us because we had a choice spot on the beach, but gosh, it makes me wonder if it's like that during the low season. I hate to see what it's like during the, during the high season. So the other thing I wanted to mention was the conservation of water. The only water that they have at the house is what they collect off the roof with rain and what they store in, in the cisterns. So every bathroom has a sign that says, here in the land of sun and fun, we don't flush for number one. And we're abiding by the rule to be good stewards and, and be conservative, but uh, it's taking a little bit of getting used to. Today's our last day. Yes. Heading home tomorrow morning. We're going to leave around 8 o'clock or so, but uh, it has been an unbelievable vacation. A little pricey for this house, but once in a lifetime experience that I'm glad that we did. Me too. Uh, in fact, probably my favorite thing about this vacation was the house because we didn't really go out to eat a lot much or shop a whole lot. Beaches, beaches were always, they're always great. Yeah. But this house was was really fat. I enjoyed our time here and yeah. just cooking here and hanging out here and having the cocktails. So yep. So cheers. Cheers. Until next time, yep. St. John. Yep. Because I'm sure we'll be back. Here's here's to great memories and hope to make more. Cheers. We never got tired of the views from our villa. I saw this beautiful rainbow one morning, and here's a few sunsets to end the video.